This is a GWC Storm Report. Good afternoon, this is Greg Machos, and this is the GWC Storm Report, with a look back on yesterday's severe weather, and also a glance at some of the severe weather reports from Friday's storms as well. Yesterday we had several waves of thunderstorms pass through the area and bring uh, torrential downpours along with some lightning and some gusty winds. Uh, the storms first passed through in the early morning hours and then another wave passed through during the rush hour. Finally, a third storm, uh, third wave of thunderstorms passed through the region in the mid-afternoon. Severe thunderstorm warnings were posted for Middlesex County at until 8.45 yesterday morning and also to about 4.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Now, as you can see, this is a, a radar loop courtesy of Weather Underground, and it shows you the three waves of storms that passed through the Garden State during the day on Monday. And there were a lot of uh, reports of heavy rain, and uh, in the afternoon, uh, the thunderstorms that came through uh, produced some gusty winds. Um, I happened to be at work at the time, and it just turned into a monsoon um, at around the 4 o'clock hour. Um, the earlier rain that we had uh, was more of a downpour, um, and I happened to have driven to work in it, and it and then, then in between all of that, we had a lot of changing skies and dark clouds and uh, <clears throat> uh, very um, scary looking uh, skies uh, at times during the uh, morning and afternoon. However, once all this cleared out, um, we really had one heck of a sunset. Um, and I do have some footage and some pictures of that as well. You could see the complete uh, video it's about four minutes or so online at the blog um, at hurricaneville.com. If you go to hurricaneville.com slash blog, you will see the uh, YouTube video for that. There are also some uh, pictures as well. You can get those at the uh, GWC Picture Gallery, which is at hurricaneville.com slash gallery. Now let's look at a satellite image of the east coast of the United States about yesterday afternoon. This was taken at about 2 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time, or a little bit before that. I believe it was actually 1.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And as you can see here, this feature down here uh, was of her, uh, Tropical Storm Debbie. Uh, the storm has dumped torrential rains. Uh, rainfall amounts are have been expected somewhere in the range of 10 to 20 inches uh, throughout Florida, which is getting drenched. If you have been watching the Weather Channel, you've been seeing live reports from uh, Live Oak, Florida, and Cedar Key, Florida. And uh, the reports coming out of Live Oak are definitely showing uh, the downtown area there flooded um, quite a bit from the rains by Debbie. Anyway, looking further north, you can see this was what brought our weather yesterday this was the first wave that had passed through during the morning now it is well offshore we see the second wave starting to get its act together here uh, in eastern Pennsylvania and in upstate New York and then there's even a third wave behind that in the great eastern Great Lakes region all three of these waves came through during the day on Monday now we're going to look at a water vapor imagery and as you can see we have a tremendous amount of moisture that was streaming up from the south along the Gulf Stream into the North Atlantic and back into areas uh, in the Canadian Maritimes in northeastern New England. Uh, our weather also you can see the um, circulation bringing down moisture into the tri-state area including the Garden State, and that 
uh, led to the thunderstorms. Now, if you recall, uh, I had mentioned in the blog on Sunday, for those who follow it regularly, uh, that there was an indication that we may have some severe weather on Monday. Um, although there was some conflict there, the National Weather Service in Upton, New York, had indicated in its hazardous weather outlook the chance for some severe weather with rainfall amounts between an inch and an inch and a half. Um, meanwhile, the uh, National Weather Service office in Mount Holly didn't indicate any real severe weather. They did indicate that there would be some rain, some showers, and temperatures in the upper 70s to low 80s, but there was no indication that there was going to be anything like what we saw yesterday. Um, State College National Weather Service office indicated that there would be some rough weather passing through uh, central Pennsylvania uh, during the course of the day on Monday. Now, let's look at the storm reports from yesterday. And as you can see here, if we look at the map, there weren't a lot of storm reports nationwide, but there were some storm reports in our neck of the woods. We had a report out of the Trenton area of a downed tree, and there were some reports of hail on Long Island and also some high winds in the southeastern New York area, just a little north of, of New York City. And if we go here, specifically... Uh, this one report out of New Jersey came from Hamilton Township. Again, that was outside of Trenton. And this was of a tree being down at the state police uh, station in Hamilton. Now, again, I'm going to provide uh, several clips of footage from yesterday that we had of the sunset. There is also going to be a webcam clip from the thunderstorms that roll through during the morning. Um, and this clip is going to be for several minutes, and it's going to show the thunderstorm moving through. It's about a little bit before 8 o'clock yesterday morning and lasted pretty much until um, about 8.30 when I left the house. But I'm not going to include all that, probably just some of it, some of the key moments of it. Um, just to show you, give you an idea of what was going on here uh, while the storm was passing through. But before I do that, I'm going to switch over to the storm reports from Friday. And as you can see, they were definitely more numerous here along the uh, East Coast. Again, we had a lot of reports of wind. Uh, there were 232 reports of high winds uh, on Friday nationwide, and most of that was in the eastern portion of the country, limited to the eastern seaboard. There were two reports of tornadoes, and both of those were well out in the uh, northern Great Plains region. And there were a number of reports of hail, uh, 52 reports nationwide. Five of them were reports of large hail, and you can see there were some of those here in the east coast, including some in New Jersey. If we scroll down here, um, Barnegat, West Creek and Manahawk and all in uh, Ocean County reported hail at about, I would say, about noontime or lunchtime. Um, there were some more. Uh, Jacobstown in Burlington reported hail as well at about, well, I'd say a little bit after 2 in the afternoon. And uh, there were, like I said, there were also a lot of reports of, of high winds and heavy rain from our storm system that passed through on Monday. Now we're going to take a look at the webcam footage from the storms that passed through on Monday morning. And then after that, we're going to show you a, a, several clips of the, strong, the, uh, the storm clouds pushing out on Monday evening and leading to what was a great sunset.
This has been a GWC Storm Report.